Hey everyone, Carla here from Documenting the Journey. I am influenced. So these are the Delphonic pouches and I ordered them because Sierra from SM Plans and Maria from Bujo Plans has them and they make them look good. So I'm gonna open them real quick. I just wanted to get that plastic out of the way. So I did order them from the stationary selection. I did order two and I'll explain why in just a little bit. I have never used this company before, but this is the company. I can't remember if Sierra said she ordered hers from the same one, but I know Maria told me to order from this one. When I ordered the, this is called light blue. It's very much lavender in my opinion, but I have been told my husband, by my husband multiple times that my eyes do not see color the correct way. So if it's light blue, that's fine. But I wanted this one. It was originally out of stock. And so I did the like, put your email in and we'll notify you when it's back in stock type of thing. And it was back in stock in two days. I would definitely say that uh, they restock very quickly. I was originally just going to purchase this one. This is a shop that is in Japan. And the pouch itself was $23 and the shipping was $23. And so I'm like, cool, what else can I buy? And does it change shipping? So I played on the website for about two days to try and figure out what else I could buy and how much it would change shipping. They have straps for these as well, but I chose personally not to get those because I don't think I'm ever really gonna use it like as a purse. It's just gonna be holding all of my stuff. But, I ended up going with this other one because the price of both of these did not change the shipping. And for some reason, I really struggled with paying the same amount of shipping for one item. And so I just ordered two. So they were $23 a piece with $23 shipping. And I will tell you that I am in the Midwest. They came from Japan and I got them in less than eight days. And I was shocked, like usually, like when I order Hobonichi or other things from Japan, it takes at least almost about two weeks to get to me. But they came freaky fast. So maybe that's why the shipping was so expensive is because it was freaky fast shipping. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I did, I did heavily get influenced because I saw Maria when she had this one a while ago. And I... If you have been following me for any length of time, you know how much I love lavender. And so I had to get the lavender and then I decided that I would probably keep one. So these are my ideas. I don't know if it's gonna work long-term, but I am going to keep one either in my house or in my car. I'm not sure where quite yet. I'm unfortunately but maybe fortunately I don't know depends on how you look at it living in my car quite a bit because we are just bananas busy and so I am going to keep one in for personal use and then the other one I'm actually going to be using for work to keep like in my office so this is going to be my personal use one and I have not even looked at this yet but there's like pockets galore so you've got these pockets here, you've got pen pockets, you've got two really deep pockets here. The other side has a Velcro, and then it has like two off-sized pockets. And then it even has, po that would be my dog. And it even has pockets on the inside. So again, light blue, lavender, whatever you wanna call this, it's a really sturdy canvas material. And then the inside is a softer linen type fabric. It's not silky. And so if it stains, it's probably gonna stain. You're probably not gonna be able to wash it out. And then the, I think this one was called light pink. <clears throat> the light pink um, has a darker color on the inside. I feel, again, my eyes might not be right, but I feel like this is more of a chocolate brown than it is a dark gray, but maybe maybe it's a dark gray. I'm not really sure. So my idea for my personal use is actually to house my journal, which I have a lot of stuff. So we'll see how this goes. My journal has been housed in the B6 Aura Estelle airy I think is what this is again lavender purple you can see it's my favorite color 
And so I have been using this as just kind of like my everything journal. It can be decorative, it can be, you know, stickers, it can have quotes, it can have thoughts, it can have, you know, intentions and reflections. I mean, it's just kind of like my hodgepodge type thing. This is kind of where I want to go when I need to just get away from everything for a while. I do have two fountain pens in the little hooks. And then I have another fountain pen that I use because this is the Wonderland 222 B6 undated daily notebook planner type thing. And so it's just got the blank pages, but it is a Tomoe River paper. And so it takes fountain pens really well. And so I like being able to play with inks in here also. Let me see if I can find a page that I did multiple inks on. I don't know, maybe I can't. And this is also because it is undated. I do have some like blank pages randomly. And then I just kind of go through and just fill them out. They're not even in chronological order. Like this is August and this is January. So I don't know. I just kind of find a page that I want to do and then just write whatever I need to write. I often pre-decorate a lot of these pages because I have a massive amount of stickers that I'm not using for planning anymore. And so a lot of times when I feel like being creative, I'll just go through and just throw a bunch of stickers in here. And that's why I can kind of choose any page that I want to write on. Some of the stick it, stickers are like prompted stickers, like how will I crush it this week, a note to future self, stuff like that. So it's kind of just like a hodgepodge type journal. And so I was going to see if it would fit in here. And it does. What? So if you are a B6 planner, uh, an entire B6 fits in here, like the whole thing. So my fountain pens, they are kind of like my pride and joy. I don't really think that I'll feel comfortable with them on the outside. And so I think that I will, for now, put them on the inside. I'm not sure. This one is my vanishing point. And because it's a clicky fountain pen, I don't really think I want to trust it inside of the pockets on the off chance that like my thing gets bumped. I don't want it to accidentally like click and then drain all of my ink on the inside of this thing because that would just be sad. So I'm going to put those in there. This is my kind of like my planning caddy when I choose to use color in my planning, which isn't super often. Uh, <laughs> and I also have all my stencils in here. So I've got all of my Dear Lily design stencils. This is the Kokio stencil. And then I have, uh, is this no, I can't remember if this one was Hobonichi or not. These two I know are the Hobonichi. These are not, these are, are these, oh, these are the Jaboon. I think these are the Jaboon. They match the Jaboon Techos, but I've got those. And then I've got, I think these are Midori stencils. Oh, look, here's another. <laughs> I really like stencils. There's another. So I have like a massive amount of stencils and all my stencils in one place. I will go ahead and put my Beauty by Starlet stencils in there also. When I first got these, I absolutely loved them, but then I started really struggling with them because I feel like because these are not see-through, like all of these other stencils, the plastic is see-through and I can see exactly where my stencil is being placed on the page. I have more than once accidentally kind of when I was placing it on the page had it crooked just just by like a millimeter and it just drives me a little bit batty. So because they're not see-through, I unfortunately don't use them as often as I did when I first started. But I think I'm going to put all of these back here. And then... I feel like these would fit perfectly in here. These are the credit card sized stencils from Dear Lily Designs. And then let's see if these will fit. Oh, look at that, they fit. These fit perfectly here. Okay, so I've got all my stencils in one place. And so now I'll know exactly where those are at. I almost always have a ruler with me because I do bullet journaling and I have to draw like straight lines a lot, but a lot of times I don't utilize the ruler because I have so many stencils. And so I think for now, I'm going to just leave this ruler out. 
I have multiple brush pens. Some are the, I don't know how to say, I can't, I feel like I've seen so many people say this company. I feel like it's called Reich, but I'm not sure. I might be saying that wrong. If I'm saying it wrong, phonetically type it out for me in the comments. Um, also, I'm partially deaf, and so a lot of times when I hear things, I hear it wrong also. But so those, I have some of those. And then I also have the Tombos. These are the two that I use almost exclusively. I don't even know what numbers they are anymore because they are just completely worn down. But it's a really light lavender and a really light gray. And then, of course, I have all of my mild liners for all of my Moxie Life colors. And so these correlate with the eight colors and eight areas of life with the Moxie Life goal setting system. I absolutely always have to have these because a lot of times especially when I'm journaling in processing journaling not this one this is like a creative journaling I will never show my processing journal but when I'm journaling processing journaling I'll use these to highlight a lot of things that I'm kind of journaling on so I know what area of life I'm either you know struggling with or what area of life I am needing some improvement in and so I always have these handy and then this is just a Sarasa Dry Blue. This is a Uni 0.38. Oh, I forgot what this one was called. I don't remember what the name of this pen was called. Um, I don't know. It's that. But this is a 0.38. And then I have the Hobonichi three color click pen. So these are kind of like the when I choose to use color, these are the things that I use for color. And so we'll just kind of go ahead and put these bad boys in there. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I should probably just so they don't accidentally fall out. I'm going to go ahead and kind of clip all of these. So my idea with this is I have a very specific spot in my living room that I truly enjoy sitting at when I journal and when I do some like daily type page planning. And so I'm going to keep this entire thing like right next to that particular spot. So I always have it really handy with me. I might not add these in because I don't really utilize them as often. And these, I almost always carry, I have two sets of these, y'all. I almost always carry these in my Bujo Planner front pocket cover because I use these to plan my week in my bullet journal. And then I'll just go ahead and add just the pens. Let me double these guys up. And then I'll just go ahead and add those. And then a ballpoint pen is always good too. So I think that's going to be it for now. I'm not sure if I'm going to add any stickers to this quite yet. I probably will when my sticker, or my already stickered pages are used up. I'll just add a bunch of stickers in there and I will probably even, I have like massive amounts of like passion planner stickers. I'll probably just rip a bunch of pages out and then just add it in here. So that way if I'm sitting one night kind of like watching TV or whatever, I can just start stickering pages completely randomly. So this one is going to be for my personal home use. And then for my work, I chose this color because I am currently using the Clever Fox Dot Grid A5 sized journal for work. I and basically just going through and I'm writing in, you know, like a column here for when I bring these ideas and things up and we discuss them in our meetings. And then there's a column over here for when that action item is complete. And then I've just got like a bunch of, I'm doing a lot of projects at work. And so I have like a massive amount of stuff just crammed in this thing. But I really like this one because the paper is really, really thick. It's 120 GSM and it's bright white and it kind of holds up to all of my stuff that I have at work. I, I move around a lot at work and I'm on the floor a lot. And so I think that this would be perfect to just kind of house all of my A5 journal in addition to my pen, all of these 
I use a lot of sticky notes and so I can keep all of the sticky notes in here too. And then that way I can have all of these pages that are kind of loose in here right now. I can have them individually stored in my pouch. And that way when I'm working on a project and I need to be on the floor and discuss something with somebody, I can easily just grab this if I don't need my actual notebook, bullet journal, whatever you want to call it. So I got it to match. <laughs> and also because Sierra had it and it looked really good. So again, I'm not really going to like stuff this one full of things right now. I am going to add some sticky notes. So I have a lot of sticky note options. I really like these from Whitney English because they're just really large and they already have tabs. And so these are really easy to kind of pull off and stick in here and use for a tabbed thing if I need it. I also have a lot of the Avery, that's what these are, the Avery um, repositional tabs. I'm gonna add some binder clips in there too because for those big project papers that I need, it would probably be really nice to have a couple of binder clips to kind of add things to my notebook as well. And if I get handed anything in meetings, it would be really convenient to have these so I can clip all of those pages together as well. And so I'll go ahead and throw these in. And then I also have a really large selection of Mom Agenda sticky notes. I love these because these are traditional size sticky notes, but this one is really nice too. I don't really utilize these flags very often, but if I had them at work, I might actually utilize them because that way, so the reason I don't utilize these is because I feel like these icons need to be on the other side because this is the sticky side. And so when I'm putting this on a sticky thing, like, and I choose to make it a flag, I don't see the icon. But when I open the page, the icon is there. So that's the only reason I don't utilize those very well is because I feel like the design needs to be on the other side. And these are really cool too, because again, these are traditional size sticky notes, but they have the tab on it. Y'all, I really, really, really like tabs. And so I am going to probably just bring some of these. This one kind of already fell off. And then these would be nice because it's got the day on there as well. And then I'll stick some of these in there. So that's the Whitney English ones. We'll go ahead and put this in the back here. These sticky notes can just go right there. I don't think I'll bring those. And then my Avery tabs, I'll just put right here in the front. And then I'll probably just take this lighter one because it's not quite as obnoxious to look at in a business setting. And so I'll take that one too. So as of right now for work until I, you know, need more things, I'll go ahead and just keep it super simple. I do have one pen right now and I'll go ahead and add in some refills. This one, I just put the refill in there. So I know that's gonna last quite a while, but this is going to be the one for work and I'm just gonna kind of stick it in my work bag and I have everything in there that I need. I can put my backpack away and then just easily grab this thing out, throw it on the counter, wherever I'm gonna be at, if it's ICU triage or whatever it is for work, I can just throw it on the counter and I'm not gonna have to worry. I mean, if it gets messed up, it gets messed up. I work at a really busy practice, so it's totally fine. And then this one is going to be kind of like my, <laughs> my pride and joy almost for this one. I'm really excited about this one. And so this one, I'm actually going to stop the video here in just a minute, and then I'm gonna go put it in, right next to my little my little safe space for all of my, my favorite evening spot. I'm so excited about this. But yeah, so those are my two Delphonics pouches, and I mean, they're really good size. Like this fit the A5 notebook, and there's a ton of room to spare. I bet you anything you can put two notebooks in here. I don't have, oh, I do, hang on. So this is another A5 notebook. This is possibly going to be my bullet journal for next year. I don't know, y'all, there's so many freaking options. But this is a 500 page book, so it's really, really, really thick. And it still fits in there completely fine. So I have, this one I think is 155 pages. I don't know if they're numbered, I can't remember. Oh, they are. 
Um, yeah, so this one's 155 pages and this is a 500 page notebook. And they still fit like with plenty of room to spare. So this makes me super happy. I'm very, very excited about all of this. But yeah, so super happy about my purchase. Shipping was really, really, really fast. And I am just very excited that Maria and Sierra have shared theirs because Maria, you were right. I, I needed this in my life. You were so polite. You were like, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but you need it. <laughs> I needed it. I love it. So I'm very excited about these. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And then if you have one, let me know what you have in yours. And if you have a, a YouTube channel, let me know to subscribe to your YouTube channel and you can do like a what is in my Delphonics pouch because I really like these things. But okay, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to go play with all of my fun things now. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you later.